welcome to Under the Art Sports. My name is Eric Hobbs and today we're going to talk about Adam Wainwright and why I think it, this is the perfect time for him to call it a career after the 2023 season ends. Before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and find us on Facebook, Instagram, and on Twitter. Right, so uh, for those of you Cardinal fans living under a rock, um, we got the announcement on Wednesday that Wainwright was coming back. And then uh, a couple hours later, talking to reporters, he kind of snuck it in there, uh, Wayno did, just saying, yeah, this is my last year. Uh, so, um, yeah, this is it for Adam Wainwright for the Cardinals. And uh, it, it comes, I think, at a perfect time. And I think you start with Wayno as a person. He's a low-key guy. He's not out there to get attention. Um, and I think we saw that with how he kind of it almost seemed like at times he was intentionally not including himself with the Yachty and Albert Pujols type stuff when it comes to their retirement and all that. Um, and I, I mean, with good reason, he's, he's not retiring. Um, so, I mean, on that it makes sense on that level. And also, he just doesn't want the attention. Um, Albert and Yachty, they had all the pregame ceremonies every time they visited somewhere for the last time. Um, I think Wainwright's going to try and downplay that and minimize it. Maybe, maybe a quick something, uh, donate something to a charity, what, whatever. Um, but that's that's about it. Wainwright is too low key for anything more than that. Um, and and I, I'm wondering almost if he, you know, just being stubborn, like intentionally, didn't uh, retire in 2022 just so he didn't have to deal with all of that extra attention and so forth. Um, now, that definitely wouldn't be the only thing, and I'm sure that's as a small part if it is a factor, but uh, one thing that definitely is a factor is the fact that the Cardinals made the playoffs in 2022, but then swept out in two games by the Phillies. Wainwright did not get an opportunity to pitch in either of those games. That is a factor. So he's got one more chance to try and have an impact in the postseason, uh, which you know I'm sure he's excited about that. Um, there's also a lot of milestones for Wayno here, looking at 2023, where he is on franchise and MLB uh, all-time lists. Uh, he's got 195 wins. He won 11 games in 2022. If he stays healthy, you know, no reason to think he won't get five wins uh, and get to 200 career wins. If he can, let's see here. If he can win 15 games, he can get to second place uh, with Jesse Haynes, who's at 210. Um, if he matches last season with those 11 wins, he'd be at 206. Um, so, you know, that's good. And then, you know, looking at the all time list for wins, I um, mean, he's well down the list, but he'd pass some fairly big names. He'd pass if he got to 206, which is the same amount of wins he had last year. Dazzy Vance. Roy Halladay, Tim Wakefield, Oral Hirschheiser, and Dennis Eckersley all have fewer than 206 wins. And again, I'm using statistics from 2022 because I think it's fair to think he might replicate that, especially given the fact that he had his, his health issues towards the end of the season there. Um, moving on with statistics, Wainwright has played 457 games. Um, Third place on the Cardinals' all-time list is 465. So he part if he participates in eight games, he's got third place there. No reason to think he won't make that. Uh, he's got 390 starts. If he makes 11 starts, he will tie Bob Forge for second all-time, behind only Bob Gibson. Uh, speaking of Bob Gibson, he's already the only pitcher in Cardinals history with more strikeouts than Adam Wainwright. Wainwright's sitting at 2147. To pass Bob Gibson, Adam Wainwright would need, you know, 1,700 strikeouts or whatever it is in this season. I mean, not happening, but um, looking at the all-time list, Wainwright is already 71st all-time in strikeouts by a pitcher with those 2147. If he were to match his 2022 total of 143 strikeouts, that would put him at 2,290. That would put him 59th all-time, passing names like Lefty Grove, Tommy John, Jim Palmer, Vita Blue. And it would leave him just three strikeouts shy of Dwight Gooden. 
So again, getting pretty good company there uh, on both those uh, groupings of people who he could pass, uh, you know, multiple Hall of Famers in there. Um, and really he could make himself with a good season to close out his career. He could strengthen his Hall of Fame case. Um, so, you know, we'll see how that goes. But because of the milestones that I think he can, uh, he can reach for the Cardinals, and just working his way up the list and the opportunities he has to go out his way, a more low key way and have one last opportunity to you know, have some postseason glory. I think this makes it a perfect opportunity to Wainwright for Wainwright to finish his career on a high note uh, without staying one season too many. Uh, that's all I've got for this video, guys. Uh, thanks for checking us out. Uh, keep tuned here to Under the Arch Sports for more Cardinals off-season coverage and Mizzou football, Mizzou basketball starting up, and our periodic blues hockey talks. See you guys next time.